Hi guys, uh, in this video we'll be looking at sort of the reverse of what we did in the last lesson. In the last lesson we used trigonometry and Sokotoa to find missing sides, but this time we'll be using it to find a missing angle. And in this triangle I know I've got a 45mm side and a 95mm side on the opposite and adjacent sides, but the angle of interest we don't know. So when I write down the uh, Sokotoa for the trigonometric ratio, so just using Sokotoa Using Sokotoa to decide what ratio I've got here. This is a tan ratio, opposite over adjacent. So I'm going to write down that tan of theta this time. Not a number, but theta, because I don't know the number of degrees. I'm only given the letter. So if I write down tan theta is equal to opposite over adjacent. So it's 45 millimeters over 95 millimeters. So that means that in order to find theta, I need to work backwards. Okay, it's not like this is tan times theta. I don't divide that by tan. That doesn't make any sense. What I need to do is do the opposite of tan to find theta. So what I do is I, I write down that I'm going to find theta and it is going to be the opposite operation. It's called inverse tan of 45 over 95. Okay, now this I can do in my calculator. Pull up the calculator, I do the opposite of tan, so shift tan brings up tan with a little minus 1. That's inverse tan, and it's 45 over 95. Close the brackets, and if I push equals, gives it to me as a decimal. So it's 25.35 degrees. Now, I can do that in hours, minutes, and well, degrees, minutes, and seconds by pushing the degrees, minutes, and seconds button on that one. And it tells me that's 25 degrees and 21 minutes. I'm going to round that up. 25 degrees and 21 minutes. And so I know that that angle in there is just over 21 degrees. I'm going to call it 25. Hmm, not working. 